One of the coolest things about learning to code is the amount of detective work you get to do. Reading and understanding a programming language is kind of like being Sherlock Holmes. You start seeing all the angles and being able to interpret all the subtle details. And the best part about it is that you already have all the experience necessary to make a great detective. If you've chosen to participate in this course, you're probably quite familiar with mobile applications. For those of you who are new to Java, we are going to fully leverage that experience. Here's how. Take a simple application like the one you see here. It's a list of pages that I like on Facebook. It scrolls up and down. It interacts with the Facebook database to get an image and a name. I'm sure you've seen several similar applications with familiar functionality before, but here's the really neat thing. Everything that you notice in this application is somehow expressed in code. In fact, every application you've interacted with is expressed somehow through code. So if you can identify a specific behavior in any application, you can start to play the part of a code detective. You can locate the code that relates to that specific behavior, and with just the tools I'm going to give you in this unit, you can begin to understand what the code means and how it works. You can do all of this without having to suffer through years of training in computer science or mathematical thinking. And the coolest thing is, once you develop the skill of being a code detective, you can learn more about the process of developing applications simply by using them. So put your detective hats on. Join me in asking questions and getting curious about what you see. And together we'll go on a journey from application to code. Before you know it, you will be reading and understanding the Java programming language, the very core of Android application development.